Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, ITTV viewers. I'm Dave Graveline. Happy to be with you for another ITTV update. As we get closer to opening our holiday gifts and saying goodbye to 2011, we've been conducting an Into Tomorrow trivia contest and giving away moolah every day in time for Christmas. If you see this in time, check out our Facebook page and have some fun with us. Facebook.com slash Into Tomorrow. And good luck. Many in the consumer electronics industry expect the Amazon Kindle Fire will outsell the Apple iPad 2 this holiday season. If you're thinking about getting one, be sure to watch our previous ITTV update where we review the Kindle Fire for you. There are some things you should know before you buy or add it to your Christmas holiday wish list. As I've said on the radio show, you can get two Kindle Fires for the price of one iPad. Just saying. Let us know what you think, and be sure to comment. Is your face always camera ready for pictures, especially during these holidays? Well, that question may sound a little harsh, but have no fear. Technology can enhance your pictures and erase most of your concerns after getting your picture taken. Rob's got a cool photo enhancing app to show you on this week's Product Spotlight. Thanks, Dave. As you know, I'm not one to be shy in front of cameras. The front-facing camera on my eye devices have come in very handy, but there are times where I'm concerned about a pimple on my face, and I would prefer not to have to spend time fixing my pictures with Photoshop. Recently, we were introduced to a new program called Perfect 365 from ArcSoft. They call it the one-click makeover, and it really does take one click, or one tap in this case, as we're showing you the iPad version. You can take a picture within the app or choose one already stored in your device. After choosing the picture you want to edit, tap here on the key point button on the bottom left of the screen. You can adjust those points to make sure the effect is done properly and not out of whack. It's usually pretty good. Then go back and start playing with the one tap makeover styles along the bottom. The effects are very subtle but can get dramatic by adding makeup to your subject. The most dramatic being cat eyes. I'm ashamed to say I tried it on myself, for testing purposes, of course. Take a look. Ew! Oh god, that's horrible. Anyway. I also tried the effect on the picture of my sister. Here she is before, and here's her after photo. That's pretty amazing. If you're not happy with the one-click makeovers, you can also do a custom makeover with my style. Some of the things you can do include removing blemishes and circles, trim face or lift cheeks, add eyeliner or contacts, enlarge eyes, or deepen the smile. You can really get carried away with these custom features, but it's fun. ArcSoft also offers a version for PCs, Macs, and iPhones. You can download the computer version for free, but to take advantage of all the features, it'll cost you 40 bucks. The iPhone version is currently available for $1.99. The iPad version costs $4.99 on the App Store. If you're looking for a fun app this holiday season, this is a good choice. That wraps it up for this week's Product Spotlight. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. I think you might want to stay away from that makeup style. Ugh. But as you saw, this is a fun app that can really enhance your look and add makeup in case you ran out of the house without it or didn't wear enough to hide your blemishes. Gee, I wonder if I can get rid of these bags under my eyes from too much travel. Maybe you can use it in time for your holiday e-cards if you hurry. What do you think about Perfect 365? Leave us your comments below or call our national radio show. 1-800-899-INTO. That's 1-800-899-4686. For even better prices, you can also participate with our free Into Tomorrow apps on your iPhone or Android. Do you have a small business with IT needs? Visit NewEggBusiness.com for their everyday solutions and deals on business electronics and office must-haves. 
IP is simple at NewEggBusiness.com, where once you know, you knew it. It's now time for yet another visit by our tech historian, Chris Graveline, and his ever-popular This Week in Tech History. This week in 1903, the first successful powered airplane flight took place near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. First Orville, then Wilbur Wright kept their invention flying. Each flight lasted just under a minute. This week in 1938, Vladimir Zworykin of Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania patented the Iconoscope television system. It was the leading technology used for broadcasting in the U.S. until 1946. This week in 1951, EBR-1, or Experimental Breeder Reactor 1, became the first reactor to generate usable amounts of electricity from nuclear energy. It accomplished this feat by lighting four light bulbs at the National Reactor Testing Station in Butte County, Idaho. And this week in 1976, WTCG-TV in Atlanta, Georgia, owned by Ted Turner, changed its call letters to WTBS and was uplinked via satellite to become the first commercial TV station to cover the entire U.S. TBS started on four cable systems available in 24,000 homes. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. We want to remind you about our special YouTube giveaway. How about a Lysile plug? You can share your USB hard drives and printers over Wi-Fi and access them even when you're away from your home or office, among other things. Everyone that is subscribed to our YouTube channel before the end of 2011 will be automatically entered. Sub and win with ITTV. We'll announce the winner in our next ITTV update. Well, that's it for this week's Into Tomorrow ITTV show. Happy holidays. We hope Santa brings you everything you asked for. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Gravelock.